I didn't see you there. Today I want to give you a tour of my home office. Wait, why are you looking at me that way? Huh, I see. Oh, no, no, don't worry. This is not the home office. All right, let me take you to the real home office. Okay, let's try this again. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to give you a little tour of my home office. Now more than ever, more people are working remotely and working from home has become the new normal. So I just wanted to share with you some ways that I try to stay productive and motivated while I'm at home. Um, and this will be especially useful for anyone who has like a very small space like me. I live in a studio. So everything is very compact, but I wanted to show you some ways that you can still, you know, be able to have a space that's dedicated to getting work done and getting things done. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing you see when you walk into a, my apartment is my desk. And I chose glass because glass is just um, great for a small space. It doesn't seem to take up too much space and at the same time it's very pretty and sleek and just gives a very minimalistic um, look to it which I really like. I like as least clutter as possible. So normally I like to sit um, or position my desk by a window because I just love to get fresh air and to get some an expansive feeling and to be inspired by you know nature and things that I see. Obviously with my studio I don't have a lot of space so unfortunately I can't position my desk by a window but I like to surround myself with things that inspire me for instance I love fresh flowers and even in the winter time when it's hard to get fresh flowers I've gotten into getting dried flowers these are dried lavenders lavender which is just something that kind of is you know inspiring and beautiful to look at I also surround myself with books that I like and this picture of this model it's just a gentle reminder to go to the gym. I obviously won't look like her, but you know, I can try to look like the best version of me. And this here is a Hewlett Packard um, printer, which is compatible with a Mac. And I just realized that working from home, I was spending a lot of time running to FedEx or you know, UPS or some printing shop to print documents that I needed on a whim. And I just realized why not just save time and money by buying my own printer. And it's a little bit on the big side and maybe I could include a desk to put it on, a mini desk, but I just like things to be very, um, you know, simple and streamlined. So for now it sits on my desk, but I just like that it is very reliable and you can print wi um, from Wi-Fi. And I also got a Apple, this is a MacBook Pro, oh sorry, MacBook Air laptop. And it's just been really nice. I haven't used a Mac in years, but it's been a, a good and steep learning curve while also learning all the apps, including this Final Cut Pro that I use to make these videos. Yeah, and yeah, so as you can see, this is my desk. And I like to, you know, I, I love taking notes and writing things on paper, as you can see. So this here is just a stack of colorful, bright post-its that I use for pretty much everything. And I have little uh, post-its and I also have my earbuds which 
I love. So once again, I really love glass. So this is just um, nice to have like a nice little hot drink or beverage while you're working. And I like to keep it on my coaster, which is made of uh, natural stone or, and yeah, I just like to keep, use a lot of natural materials as you can see, because I think they're just more sustainable and pretty to look at. And behind this laptop, I have my little storage unit. Even though I've moved to a digital planner, I still take notes, as I mentioned, about like ideas that I get and things that you know inspire me and that I wanna work on. So this is like my little dream section down here. This is where I look at, have things that inspire me. This is um, some prompts for writing creative nonfiction. Things that I haven't gotten around to doing yet, but I want to. On the top shelf, I have things that I have to do immediately, and this is my beautiful brown leather sleeve for my laptop. It's just really cool. I haven't had to really use it working from home, but I just love the idea of slipping it in there and going out with my little fancy uh, folder. Yes, and here I like to keep, just uh, have a little catch all thing for my keys and for just my lipstick or chapstick that way I, I can stay hydrated my lips can stay hydrated and yeah here are again just more books and things that inspire me and you can see really back there but I have like more supplies like if I need pens or I need some uh, like a binding clip I have that handy I really try to maximize the space so as you can see this shelf bookshelf that I have behind my desk I also try to use to keep storage items neatly stored so this is like for instance a basket where I keep my computer paper ink and just um, notebooks extra notebooks that I have Since I also don't have a lot of space by my desk, I keep um, two shelves where I pretty much keep additional office supplies, for instance, markers and tape and my stapler and just some things that I don't need all the time, but you know, I need them every once in a while or often enough to have them, but just not, you know, it will just to keep them out of sight. And then I have another um, drawer where I keep my electronic stuff and wires that I need for like my small gadgets. So whether it's like charging my camera and just little things that you need, <laughs> but you don't like to see. So this here is where all the magic happens. <laughs> well, at least this is where I like to write down my tasks for the week, especially focused on like urgent things that I have going on. And I have a friend who said, well, oh my God, if I had to look at that first thing in the morning, that would stress me out. But actually it does the opposite for me. It really relaxes me because I don't have to keep it all in my head and I know first thing in the morning if I want to look at it I can see it right there and I can see the things that I need to get done and it just helps me stay on track I like to circle in red the the most important items that I have going on for the week that I need to get done and I like to sometimes just put a little date or the day of the week that I need to get it done by so it's just a, a good way to you know stay on track and not feel overwhelmed i also love to keep this board clean because any kind of mess even if it's just like on a dry erase board would make me a little crazy and feel disorganized so i hate having like wires just like all over the floor and just like all the you know cables and everything from the 
outlets just hanging out. So um, this is something actually that I recommend to just keep things nice and tidy. You can add these like little nail hooks that just nail the cables down to the floor so that everything is in its order if you need to have um, like a, a extension cord for instance as you can see so this little gadget right here deserves a shout out so I actually won this gadget during a, like a secret Santa gift exchange during the holidays and at first I wasn't even sure it took me a while to figure out that it goes this way on the table I was like wait a second what is this how does it work what are all these holes and what does it do there's no batteries there's nothing and this little gadget though is so cool because it just easily helps you you know find the place to neatly store your iPhone or smartphone and your Apple Watch or like a smartwatch that you want to charge and everything these holes in the back are for the um, cables to go through and it just makes the space look nice and tidy and you're able to you know see and charge your you know your smartphone and your smartwatch and yeah this is like t less than twenty dollars so it's under twenty dollars and yeah it's such a cool little gadget I love the color I'm sure they have different ones but this one's like a rose gold and yeah so shout out to my secret Santa who gave me this I it was a gift that I didn't even know that I needed and those are the best gifts right the ones that you don't even expect or know that you wanted you need it in your life but then you're like oh my god thank god this thing exists so yeah thank god this little piece of metal exists so that was it i hope you enjoyed this little office tour a work from home office tour i hope it gave you guys some ideas for ways that you can spruce up your own office space and make it cozy but also motivating for you to get work done but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me know what, what tips you guys have for sprucing up your home office and i will see you guys next time